Hello, everybody. We're going to jump right into prayer. And uh, this is Thursday, and this is the 28th day. Wow, I got right. And uh, it's kind of like a watch. You know, a watch that don't even work is right twice a day. Did you know that? <laughs> so, so I think about what day it is sometime. Day, date not just the day. We're going to jump right in to our prayer and fasting service. And glad to thank everybody for tuning in and being with us. Now, after this goes off the air on the 30th, as far as I know, uh, you can keep right on going. That's what we do. It's just not public. You can have your private devotional time just like we do. And um, it's a very good time, very prosperous time or just something about doing the word and prayer and devotion every single day when you get ready to turn in for the day and then start your day start your day with uh hanging out with god listen to some faith-based teaching some people listen to these and then they pray along in tongues in the spirit so you're building yourself up by renewing your mind by listening to faith and then you're praying in the spirit jude 120 build yourself up on your most holy faith so you're getting in tune uh by renewing your mind and getting in retuned by the spirit too amen and then read at least four chapters a day and uh, i'm kind of baiting you a little bit because when you start praying for at least an hour a day and reading four chapters a day at the same time, you wind up reading more than four chapters a day, and then some days, some you got a little bit more time or something, or you're feeling pressed to go a little bit longer. What well, you do, and then some days you might go right back to just doing four chapters a day. But in one year's time, you read through the whole Bible every year. If you read eight chapters a day, you'd read through the Bible twice a year, and so uh, that however. You do it, just do it. Sit and pray, walk and pray, kneel and pray. Uh, the main thing is, is that you pray. Amen. So sometimes I sit in here, sometimes I just sit in there. Depends on what's going on, where it's quiet. And uh, I might sit in the darkness. Of course, you got tablets that lights the room up. So I want to encourage you. Main thing is that you pray. Amen. And from time to time, do a little fasting and. Do a little loving and do a little, because uh, faith worketh by love. Do, 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 uh, if you walk in love all the time, you don't have to forgive. Because you just, you don't take the offense to start with. In Psalms 118, verse 17, uh, verse 119, verse 165 says, Great peace are they that love the Lord thy God, and nothing shall offend them. So, Offenses will kill you. Unforgiveness will kill you. Not walking in love will forgive you. Worry will kill you. Anxiety will give you. You know, participating with sickness will kill you. Participating with poverty will kill you. So eliminate all the stuff that's killing you and just grow in faith and His Word. And the only way you can successfully do that is have a real good diet. Um, I knew a whole family one time, and they would say, well, I just don't see the importance of prayer. And, you know, the, they, no matter what you did, they, I don't see the importance of praying in the Spirit and reading the Word. They want to move in the gifts of the Spirit, you know, in public, but they didn't want to uh, read the Word, so they got off. Why? Because they didn't know what the Word said. So they started saying stuff that God wasn't saying through His Word. And they got off. So you don't want to get off. You want to stay balanced. And the only safe place to stay balanced is in that balancing beam of faith. No matter what you're studying, no matter what it is, that balanced beam will keep you balanced when you do faith with it. Faith is a connector. Amen, amen. So jump right in. We're going to do the daily devotional time right here. And uh, 
is. I don't know where you're from, but it is nice and warm in Oklahoma, and it's September, the end of September. We've had some spring weather, some fall weather at nighttime, but everything is still green. We thought for every time we mow, we said, well, it's the last time we're going to mow. And it rains for about two or three times and perks it back up again. So well, we're jumping right into the Word now. And if you have your devotional sheet, why do we pray the way we pray? 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 through 2. First of all, we pray for all the people in authority that we live a quiet and peaceable life. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things are added unto us. Psalms 118, verse 17. Everybody in my family and the people in authority, they live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. President Trump and his cabinet and his family is Psalms 118, verse 25. We're now prosperous, now healed, now set free, now delivered from worldly passions. And the Trump family is Psalms 91. And also Psalms 118, verse 25 says, Now prosperity, so we're now prosperous. That's how you hook up with prosperity. Quit counting your money and just start counting your blessings. That's how you do it. Amen. Money will always come. Don't be intimidated by money. Dear Lord Jesus, sow your seed, rejoice, and don't be intimidated by money. Oh, I could believe for $5. What about 500 Oh, my God, I don't know. I, uh, I said being intimidated. It don't matter what the dollar figure is. You can just thank God you got it. Amen. And 2 Timothy. Romans 8. You just go back to prosperity. And we are the healed, saved, set free, and delivered, and we walk in divine protection. Romans 8, 11. The people in authority, the Trump administration, and President Trump, is quickened in their mortal body, flesh and bone body. Second Timothy 1, 7. God hadn't given Trump or his administration the spirit of fear, power, love, and sound mind. Ephesians. Ephesians. First chapter 16 and 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ gives unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge of Jesus, that the eyes of our understanding are enlightened. We know what the hope of our calling is and the exceedingly great power that works on the inside of us. Isaiah 54. 17, no weapon formed against the Trump administration will prosper. Every tongue that rises up against will not prosper. No weapon formed against him will prosper. And, and every tongue that rises up against is condemned. 1 Peter 2.24, by his stripes were healed. Isaiah 53.5. By his stripes were healed. Psalms 51, 12. The joy of our salvation. Thank you, Lord. We are restored of the joy of our salvation. And we have a free spirit. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, is here and teaches us, leads us, guides us, and directs us in every area of life. And you can, in every area of life, Matthew 8, 17, and in John 14, 26, and we having Ephesians 3, 20, life more than you could think, dream, or imagine. Matthew 8, 17, sin, sickness, and disease is a thing of the past. And it's gone, 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 now, now, now. It's being removed from us. Sin, sickness, and disease is removed from us. Luke 10, 2. We, we send laborers to the Trump family administration, godly people. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness. 
We bind and gag them in Jesus' name. Luke 10, 2. Release labors to the Trump family, friends, neighbors, acquaintances, people that love us, people that hate us, people that bless us, people that even try to curse us, but every seat's filled and every person's filled at unity of faith church. Nothing broken, nothing missing, and everything spotless and clean. Building filled, all the people filled inside and out. Friends, family, and neighbors, acquaintances, people that love us, people that hate us, people that bless us, people that even try to curse us, but every seat is filled and every person's filled with the glory of God at Unity of Faith Church. A real church for real people with real answers that have real faith. We have now Deuteronomy 8.18, the power of wealth. I have trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars to get the gospel out in a greater way. First Peter 4.7 the end of the world is coming soon, so we are disciplined in our prayer life. Glory. Isaiah and glory. Isaiah 55 5, God has sent to us nation and nations, and they obey. Amen. We'll see you. Give your life to Jesus. Just say, Lord Jesus, throw up your hands in worship, but also throw up your hands in surrender. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender to you to get in the word, to do in the prayer and fasting, to get into your word, speak your word, devour your word, put my nose in the book, my eyes in the book, my ears in the book, my mouth in the book, and don't come out of the book. And we thank you in Jesus' name, give my life to you and do it afresh. Speak in the spirit. In Jesus' name, be healed. Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes. You are healed. Not going to be healed. You are healed. Have a great one. Have a good one. God bless.